I'm reunited. With it's Will. me! <laughs> She's back! I exist! <laughs> so we haven't seen. When was the last time we saw each other? The end of 2019. Yeah, it was like this November, was... December 2019. Yeah. We're going to see Russell Howard tonight, which we were meant to go to last year. last year. So we're finally going tonight. It's been moved venue, so it's at Ashton Gate Stadium instead of Bristol Hippodrome. We're just at Cribs now, gonna do a little mooch round, and then of yeah. course, we're gonna go to Pizza Express. As because if you wouldn't. It's like old times, it's like the Rona never happened. Yeah. <laughs> we can pretend. We can pretend. Oh. Bubble on these bad boys <laughs> So while me and Will have been out, he's been busy. Hell yeah. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, crumbs everywhere. <laughs> you probably cannot hear me, but I cannot believe we're at a live event, Will. I know. Who'd have thought? Last year. It's just like, we'll be here now. I feel so nostalgic. Like the overpriced beer, the queuing, the, the burger noise. vans, the noise. Oh, I've, I've missed it so much. <laughs> What's that feel like? the next day. Um, Russell Howard was experienced, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it was a great gig. It was great to be like at a live event again. Like it was a bit emotional though, when they like, yeah. first came out and everyone was like, whoa, I'm out of the house, that yes. Happens. Oh, that was so good. Um, yeah, Russell Howard was amazing. Um, the only thing that did happen that was a bit unexpected, it was probably the weirdest gig experience I know I've ever had in my yeah. life. Um, so halfway through Russell's set, he's you know, just telling jokes like a comedian does. And so because it was at Ashton Gate Stadium, basically the stage was like on the edge of the green and then you had to hold the green behind. And then a random naked bloke just like comes out of nowhere, <laughs> running across the stadium behind the stage. No idea where he came from, don't know if he was going to be like a person at the gig, don't know if he had a ticket, don't know if he just randomly broke in and decided to like run around naked so yeah it's a mystery that is a mystery it was it was an experience i'm really sure and like the security guards for a while were just like following him around and not really doing anything about yeah. it i have got footage because you know that's what everyone does as soon as something nice happens everyone's got their phones out like oh my god but i don't know what i'll put in my video because i mean we were quite far back so luckily we couldn't see any like details <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Thank God for that. <laughs> oh, oh, God. It's... Do you know the funny thing is, this is all you'll remember about tonight. <laughs> Has anyone got one of those blowpipes? You know those? <laughs> Um, but yeah, the, the security guards kind of just like what, followed him around, followed him around for a bit, and then they started running after him, and then they like, and then the guy like pushed them, and then they eventually got him on the floor, <laughs> and then, took him, and then took him away. But yeah, apart from that, Russell was really good. I yeah. felt really bad from trying to like carry on after yeah. that had happened because you know anyone that talks about that gig is just going to talk about the bloke just the naked like bloke that's just like we are now <laughs> but it was good it was a good show so if you do get a chance to see it you should go yeah but don't expect naked men yeah that's, that's i don't think that's one -off. yeah i don't think that's not part, part of, of set. it <laughs> so will's not gonna go get a train home yeah sad times sad times but at least we, at least we were back least together we for a moment. while at least we had this time <laughs> i'm sure she'll be back i'm sure i'll be back she's always back I'm always back <laughs> so dropped wheel off Say goodbye to Will. Now we're off. We're actually leaving the house. 
and not going to Plymouth, we're actually going somewhere. We're going to Cornwall, which isn't to be fair that far no. from home, is it? So it's my birthday tomorrow. Oh shit, is it? So we're heading down to Cornwall for five days, so we're doing a few days in Houston and then a few days in Newquay and then head, up, head to Plymouth on the way back. I think it's going to rain today a little bit in Houston, but then I think the rest of the week we might be okay. Not a drop of rain the entire week. Fingers crossed. Normally, to be honest, the, the fact that I have like a midsummer birthday, 90% of the time it does rain. So I'll be surprised if it doesn't rain tomorrow, but we'll see. <laughs> so we're at our Airbnb that we're staying at for a few days. Um, it took us about three and a half hours to get here, which it wasn't, there was no traffic really. The rain was hideous. It has yeah. been, the minute when we left Bristol didn't look too bad, but it's just got worse and worse the closer we got to Cornwall, yeah. which is great. So yeah, we got here and then um, the place where we're staying there's like a restaurant next to it. So we basically just rolled out the car and rolled into the carvery and then rolled back, rolled back here because now we're really full. <laughs> so the place we're staying is pretty nice. It's like a little apartment. So let's, let's do a tour, even though all our bags are like just dumped down here because we definitely overpacked. <laughs> we also brought the cake all the way here and it made it in one piece. Here's the cake. Jodie's careful driving. We've got this little sitting area, little living room, TV here with other people's Netflix and Amazon Prime still logged into, so that was an interesting find. Sue's watching too hot to handle at the moment. <laughs> so this kitchen is not a too bad size actually, even though we don't intend on actually cooking anything here probably. But it's a nice little breakfast bar as well. It's, it's a shame really, because like, we, we could both chop things yeah. without getting in each other's way. Yeah, it's literally bigger, more space out than our kitchen. There's probably more storage here. I got the bedroom through here. It smells so clean in here as well, which is reassuring. <laughs> it's cute. And then just the bathroom in here. You know, standard power shower. Still probably better than ours. Toilet, standard. Do you want to flush the toilet before you do a tour of it? Do one of you not flush the <laughs> toilet? <laughs> Disgusting. Disgusting. <laughs> so yeah, that's about it. Um, we're here for two nights. We're not doing anything today. Pretty chill evening. Gonna watch the football, even though it's don't really out. watch football home. normally, but it's coming home. It's gonna be really awkward if it's not. <laughs> yeah, it's cut this, cut this out if it doesn't come. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon Italy are gonna win. You know, they won. They won your. They won your vision. Look, look, look. Now cut. Now, now do a prediction. But I reckon England are gonna win. I reckon England. So either, either way, either way, you're right. <laughs> so it's the next day. It didn't come home last night. But I better know, it's my birthday. So today we are heading to St Michael's Mount. So that should be nice. <laughs> So we're now on St Michael's Mount, which is basically, it's an island off the coast on Cornwall, which you can walk to depending on what time of day it is, or you have to get a boat back over. So yeah, there's nice castle and gardens here, so we're just gonna have a nosy. Weather's not looking too bad. I'm not regretting the dress choice yet. 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 It's super windy on the other side of the island. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably end up flashing somebody accidentally. <laughs> Unexpected sun. We're both looking a little bit red. Not really unexpected. It was well, definitely expected. Unexpectedly burnt though. 
but I've only got it on this random patch where there's been a gap in my jacket. <laughs> yeah, for a triangle. <laughs> so yeah, we've spent pretty much the entirety of the day at St. Michael's Mount, which we weren't really expecting to spend the whole day there, but it was really nice there. Had the nicest day there. Would recommend if you're ever in the area because it's so nice there. And also if you're a National Trust member, because we're old people and we are, it's free entry. 26 years old, she's basically an old lady now, get your retirement ready. But now I'm 26, we don't get cheap National Trust membership. Yeah, that's true. So now we're um, gonna go out for some food. What are you gonna eat? Don't know, I don't know where to get, because they had steak or burgers. I don't know where to like go all out and get a steak because you know it's my birthday and you pay in. <laughs> So it's the next day, we just checked out about Airbnb. Yeah, we had a nice day here. I actually probably would have happily spent another couple of days here, I think. Because yeah. um, there's probably more that we could do. Like we didn't get out of Port Flood and didn't do a lot of the coastal paths sort of area. So we definitely could come back. So now we're off to Trevor Gardens, which is basically like a retirement cool garden near Falmer. And then we're not sure what we're gonna do after that. Maybe we'll go straight out to Niki, which is where we're staying next. Or maybe we'll go somewhere else. I guess we'll see. Stop for a cream tea and a pasta. One in Cornwall. <laughs> but I'm eating it a dub way, so I might get kicked out. Yeah. <laughs> so we um so we left Trevor Gardens. We ended up spending about how long did we spend? Like four hours. It was great though. I really enjoyed it. Very like tropical. Didn't feel like somewhere you should see in England. No. Um, but it was really nice. Because it was too early to go to Newquay and check in, we've decided to take a little detour by Falmouth. So we just came from Swampool Beach, I think that way, and we're just walking the coastal path up to probably the next bit. But it's an amazing view and the sea is so blue today. at our second airbnb in Nuki. so this one is a little shepherd's hut because we love a good shepherd's hut can't go wrong with shepherd's hut mate i look so red i know so don't look at my nose and i've put extra sun cream on today we've been burnt so we're gonna spend the next 48 hours indoors or in shade <laughs> so this is it from the outside <laughs> it's cute we go inside you got bed TV, which is not bad for a shepherd's hut. Wood burner. And they left me a card and some cake. Cute. To be fair, even the kitchen's like pretty big. Even as a hob as well. Oh, you have need and toasty bags. Look, it's got cereal already here, toasty bag. It's got everything you could ever need. Milk. In a couple of days, it was already milk here as well, yeah. And then your bog standard bog <laughs> shower. So yeah, so far, first impressions are good. What's plans for the rest of the day? <laughs> We're both out, like stay shattered. Out, stay out of the sun. Stay out of the sun. Oh, yeah. It's because I'm not wearing glasses, right? That's why. <laughs> it hasn't even. We've been surprised by how warm it's been. We didn't. It was unexpected. Summer in England, we didn't think it'd be warm. Exactly. How pessimistic. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we're gonna chill out here for a bit. We might. We're not really gonna do a lot tonight. We'll probably go out and get some fish and chips or something like that, and have a chill evening. Then we're we'll gonna spend the day in Newquay tomorrow. Uh, 
um, it's 7 p.m. <laughs> it's um, so it's Wednesday. Um, so far, last night and today hasn't gone exactly the plan, but we're, we're gonna recover it so it's fine. <laughs> well, that, well, yesterday basically we were like, oh, we'll go get some fish and chips somewhere, have a nice chill evening on the beach, watch the sunset. Um, when, so we went to Fishtal Beach, um, it was rammed with people, which we should have expected to be honest. It took us about oh, half an hour to 40 minutes to get some fish and chips. Yeah. <laughs> and it was like really cloudy and windy. Jodie was ready to murder somebody. I was very uh, hungry, not so for life. Um, so we ended up eating the fish and chips in the car. <laughs> but then we went for a nice walk, so... Did you get a video it. of it at all? Not my fish and chips, no. No, I did at the beach, but I was fish too... Fish was really good. Basically, if you don't see a video of my food, it means I was so hungry that I just didn't give a fuck. <laughs> but it just looked like a bog standard bad sausage and chips, yeah. so you know. Then we tried to get the bus this morning. We should know this growing up in fucking Devon, but uh, we tried to get the bus this morning. The bus stop just didn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing there. <laughs> Nothing there. Walked along the road and A road. Was it A road? <laughs> yeah, where it's like 50 miles an hour. We're like, this seems a bit odd. And yeah, there's just no bus stop there, even though Google tells you there's a bus stop. The, the first app tells you there's a bus stop. But luckily, Josh managed to recover it and find another bus stop that we just basically sped walk to. Yeah, we gambled and it existed, luckily. So yeah. we got free. So we've, we've made it to Newquay. It's a bit cloudier today, but I don't actually mind that. So yeah, we don't really have much planned for today. We're just going to. Take a chill. We didn't drive purposely because I wanted to have a few drinks and not stress Joe's about driving for one day. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna walk around and we've got a reservation for what do they call it? It was like Australian fusion restaurant. Yeah. It's, it's called Bush Pepper, but the, the menu looks really good and there's a lot of good reviews online. So hopefully that'll be good. But yeah, we'll just see. If you don't see any footage of the food, <laughs> I mean, you're only angry. <laughs> yeah, hopefully that won't happen today. <laughs> Hey guys, we made it back to the Airbnb. Yeah, I just need to talk about the meal that we had at Bush Pepper. You filmed it? Did you actually, did you actually film this one? I did, I did on my phone, yeah. <laughs> the food um, we had at Bush Pepper was honestly one of the best meals I've probably ate in a restaurant. What, what was it you had? You had the um, katsu curry, didn't you? Yeah, sweet potato katsu curry. And it was a family. vegan curry and Josh absolutely loved it. I had a um, teriyaki pork belly and that was so good as well. And we had like bao buns as well for starters, which were also amazing. And they gave us like homemade Baileys at the end as well. And before the bread, bread at the beginning. And bread at the beginning as well. It was so different to what we would normally go to. And honestly, I absolutely loved it. And the service there was really good. Yeah, I just cannot recommend it enough. That was probably the highlight of the day was the food. <laughs> um, but also the beaches was nice. And it's been a really nice weather wise today. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, tonight's our last night here. We're gonna chill this evening and then tomorrow, not, don't have exact plans yet, but we're thinking of going to Perrinport before we head back to Plymouth. And make the most of the last day. So it's the next day and we're in Perrinport. Josh is like basically a local here. Yeah, I've come here loads of kids. I've only been here once for a gig, the Warring Holder. For a the only gig. pub on a beach. Yeah, I, I don't know how I believe that's it. Like, surely so that can't be the only beach. bar on the beach in the whole of the UK. It's a really nice uh, bar. Yeah. Though. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go for a walk along the dunes, and then we might stop. Hopefully, the Wharton Hall may not be too busy, and we can stop for some food later. Should be a good day. It's really sunny again today. So. Look how blue the ocean is.
So it is the next day and I'm back in Plymouth, um, looking a little bit worse for wear and a little bit burnt. It's a bit of a chill day today and then this evening I'm going out for a meal with some of my friends that are still in Plymouth um, to kind of celebrate my birthday, get out for food and going to go out for a few drinks. So yeah, should be good. It's nice to actually be doing normal stuff again. <laughs> So it's now Saturday and today I went and visited my grandparents which is great because I haven't seen them in a while and then I went down and visited my friend Taylor. So a couple of months back Taylor got engaged which is weird um, because like we've been like best friends since we were like 13 or something and just having my friends do grown up things like buying houses and getting engaged and having kids it freaks me out a little so yeah she got engaged recently and she asked me to be a bridesmaid we'd already kind of discussed it before but um she put together like a little will you be my bridesmaid kind of package for all her bridesmaids and gave that to me today so that was nice so excited for her to actually get married and to be a bridesmaid like I've only been a bridesmaid once in my life and that was for my parents when I was about seven years old. But no, seriously, I am really happy for her and I can't wait. So, look who I'm back with. Hello! <laughs> this is my first year. YouTube appearance in like a year. A year. <laughs> first time we've seen each other in a year. How mad is that? Time flies when you're doing sod all <laughs> in lockdown. <laughs> So we're up on the home, classic birthday out, but they've got the um, sail GP on, so it's very busy, but there's lots of boats and we have no idea what's going on, but it looks fun. <laughs> no clue who's winning unless they are actually crossing the finish line. <laughs> Monday and we're back at home back in Bristol had an amazing time away down in Cornwall and then back in Perth catching up with friends and family yeah it was just nice to do some normal things again and see some new places and eat lots of food and catch up with people and stuff yeah I've been very out of practice with vlogging just because I haven't really done it since last year nothing really interesting has happened in the last year um, so this probably isn't the best vlog ever but I hope you've enjoyed it anyway and I shall speak to you guys in the next one.